On September 17th, MMA fans will turn their eyes to Bruno's winning group arena to watch the anticipated middleweight title fight. One of the longest serving and best Czech fighters, Patrick Kinsell, is going to defend his championship belt for the first time. Hero mi ten titul jako nesebere. Mám to, mám to takhle prostě v hlavě. Že tunel, držím tam ten titul a jdu ho pouze obhajovat. Nikomu předávat. His challenger will be none other than the unpredictable, the killer kid, Alex Lahore. I will give the title because he was written for me. A duel that the fans themselves have dubbed the hunt for Terminator can only end in two ways. Patrick Kinsell manages the challenge of a true champion and defends the title for the first time. Or Alex Lahore, multiple champion of European organizations, will earn the coveted gold. I've grown up in Paris, in a bit of a ghetto area. As I was growing up, we didn't have so much money. I had no brothers or anything. It was just me and my mom. After a certain age, going outside is no more playing and fun time. Is you going outside to, f outside to feed yourself? You know, there was certain times we had to go and steal and do certain things that obviously I'm not proud of today. But there's loads of other sides for from growing up in the streets as well that are very good and that I keep, you know, until today is like principle, respect, all that stuff. On the street, there's no mercy. My mum knew that, that I was, you know, up to no good and doing certain stuff. And the only time I got arrested. She took that opportunity and just sent me to the to the UK. She said, yeah, start your new life down there. Maybe you can do something better. And then I started going to college, learning English, then done a bit of IT. I was looking for what can I do in the UK. And then um, one of my friends said, oh, what, what about, um, there's this MMA place that just opened. Let's go and have a look, let's go and try. Every time we went, there was no one. The third time I said, this is the last time. If there's no classes again, I'm not coming back. And that time we went, and it was a, a shoot boxing class, I think it was, where you just do the punching and you can take people down. And yeah, I went and I really enjoyed it. I see myself there, you know? Like, what they're doing is, is something that I could do. And then after a couple months, I had like my first amateur fight. I remember that was like crazy. I will say after my first title as an amateur, I realized that I really wanted to do this as a job. After a year or something, I just decided no work, no more IT, just MMA and freedom of life. <laughs> I started fighting for titles first in, in the UK. The first show I fought on was TMT, Too Much Talent. Got the, my first professional title at that show. He could burn himself out if he doesn't get finished. And he does. And the referee stopped the fight. And I felt like my journey was only starting. My third title was on UCMMA, and um, from there I got signed to Bama. They let me go to fight uh, at Bellator, and I had to fight on Bellator to warm me up to my title fight, which they gave me in London, and I won uh, my first like proper big title. His first match in Octagon was on short notice against Carlos Vermola for the middleweight championship title. I took the fight because I, was, I thought I could win. I didn't realise how much heavier he was. I, I thought the weight would, wouldn't make such a difference. Before the now, belt is mine. That's my home. The belt is my belt. You only have to fight kill me to get that belt. Yes, and that's what I did. You're ready to kill me. You forgot my name? It's the killer kid. I kill people in the cage. And really? the belt is mine. That's the belt mine. is mine. Bye. The belt is mine. We'll see. We'll see tomorrow. We'll see tomorrow. Yes.
se dostal poměrně przo k Alexovi. Ale pozor, Lohore má sedm submisí. Tu se to vnitřním low kickem na přední nohu. Sklonil lavu, ale si naběhl na ten zvedák. Oh, Alex se tím kasuje opravdové bomby. No a Lohore vidíš, že je šťáva, že je síla. A oh, to jsou na závěr skutečně velmi tvrdé údery, které tam dává. Alex Lahore was the first man to last the whole five rounds against the Terminator, despite the fact he wasn't able to prepare with a full camp. Vemula is beatable, and I think I will be victorious on the second time if we get together. That was welterweight, and I went to fight in a higher weight class, which is middleweight, which I am now. That was one thing that I uh, went and worked on and put on some more weight. Alex went into the match with the tenacious Polivka in the O2 arena as a big favorite. I felt like he was good, but he wasn't experienced enough for me. Alex vypadal strašně sebevědomě. Lohore vyzerá úplně jinak, jak ho předošli zápas, to třeba povedat. Pozor, Alex je znovu do půlbrady. There are no guys that look at and think, oh, this is too much for me, you know. Woo, a s Lohorem teď trefuje. Trápí polívku a ten je podle mého názoru teď nepříjemně nahulený. A zde jim polívka to zdává. Wow. That fight was very quick. It showed them a little bit of, you know, the difference in the level. Um, I fell back into my environment. Patrick Kinsell had his first title fight on the same tournament. Octagon's newest acquisition and one of the most famous fighters on the scene. Zápas s Pirátem byl vlastně můj první zápas v Octagonu. Celý to předtím pro mě bylo až, až trošku jakoby moc. Já jsem do něj trošku píchnul přes sociální sítě a vrátil se mě totální shitstorm. Patrick, inspektor Kince! První pokus o tejdám. Nevím, jak velkou roli to hrálo v tom zápase. Je pravda, že, že tam jsem zažíval takový emoce, co jako nikdy, že, že mě ten zápas fakt jako štval. Drží rukama trenky svého soupeře. Já prostě využívá jakoukoliv možnost, včetně drobných faulů. Nezažil jsem tolik a takový fauly za celou svou kariéru. Vím, že i fishhook tam byl. Držení rukavicí pro plejtání. Krát ale znovu postavil. Oh. Pozor. Takhle já se prát nechci, no. jako šampion bych si myslím, měl být do poslední vteřiny ten, kdo, kdo bude diktovat to tempo a jde si za tím vítězstvím. Patrik vě, že keď se ubrání na zemi z podné pozici, tak nemůže tento zápas prehrať. A ne, si to takhle jako bezpečně pohlídat, jak jsem to udělal v tom, v tom pátém kole. Patrik, inspektor, kincel! Už vlastně na tiskovce mi došlo, že můj další vyzývatel bude někdo zápas Polívka Lohore. And I would love to challenge this man down here oh. for his belt. You know, I wasn't really impressed by the performance. I think I can get it. Oh. Já jsem začínal se prát v 84, když jsem začínal zápasit. Pak jsem zjistil, že s tělem to úplně nesedí, že se mi být líp bude zápasit v tom Veltru, ale nechám si obě, obě dveře odevřený, uvidíme do budoucna, ale myslím si, že na tu 84 jsem si už teď jako dobře, dobře zvyknul, že mi to sedí. Na každý zápas se připravujeme jinak, specificky. Zjistili jsme u Lohorého, že na sílu nemusíme tolik tlačit. To znamená, že se tam víc koncentrovalo na technické aspekty a ty kondiční, to znamená, aby bez problémů udýchal, co bude potřeba. Příprava probíhá jak u nás v Osports Akademie v Hradci Králové, tak spolupracuji hodně s Dušanem Macákem z pardubického MG týmu. Teď se aktuálně příprava skládá samozřejmě z kondičních věcí, udržení nějakých silových parametrů, hodně sparingů a najíždění už fakt jako specifických zajetých věcí. Ta motivace do toho zápasu je vysoká. Chce vlastně ukázat, že mu právem ten titul patří. 
Nemyslím si, že by to měl být těžší, náročnější zápas, ale spíše jenom jde o to, že obhájit z mého pohledu je také o něco těžší, než ten titul získat. Umí boxovat, umí kopat, umí to dělat v pohybu a umí to všechno zkombinovat. Myslím si, že to bude opravdu MMA na nejvyšší úrovni. The balaclava was something I came up with when I was, you know, starting up. I thought it was, you know, something that represented me and represented my lifestyle. That was a good thing to wear and to be different. During his entrances, Alex the Hore fires himself up with his own songs, which he records in a London studio. The music thing, sorry, is more of a of a hobby and something I can use for myself to motivate me through training as well. And also for uh, spreading a message, um, sometimes to younger generation or people who are feeling that like they, they're not good enough. The song that I've written, um, it's just about myself, about my life. Kill them with kindness, do to them with success, my life, my goal. So I listen to the music a lot when I'm walking down the towards the cage. Um, it helps me stay grounded. It helps me stay focused, and you know it keeps my head calm and collected. A, a nice fiance and three kids and we're expecting another child hopefully by the end of the year. My kids are very important. Everything I do is for them, for my family and making their life a little bit easier than how my life was. My father wasn't around so it's good for them to show I'm a, a good uh, role model. Alex is very caring, has a very open, clean heart, um, very generous, very loving, um, big overthinker. <laughs> he loves his children. Um, I think leading up to a fight, obviously, I just try and take everything, um, you know, let him get on with the training. I sort of try and get, <laughs> get myself, not out of the way, but, you know, just sort out the house, sort out the kids. My preparation for a fight is all the element of the fight game. The champion is not as fit as we think a champion should be. That's all, it's just fitness, really. And uh, you've seen the training, you can judge for yourself, but this is what it is. There's no use me telling you how hungry he is. You can see for yourself. That's the proof of the pudding. It's in the eating. I'm confident he will get the belt because we wouldn't go there and we wouldn't do all of this training if we didn't think we were going to get the belt. Alex's garden is also his private gym. He puts lots of emphasis on physical fitness, which he hones to absolute perfection. So this machine is like having King Soul and Vimola on top of it. I still have to fight and breathe heavier than normally because the machine is contracting the muscles. <laughs> the nickname of Patrick Kingso apparently is Inspector. We don't, where I'm from, we don't really like policemen. So for once, it would be so nice to put my hands, my elbows, my knees, my knuckles towards the police officer without getting in trouble and also getting paid and rewarded for it. Mátit nějakého policajta maličko, nepochopil mojí, mojí přezdívku, kterou jsem tenkrát dostal v Polsku. Já mám bohužel k policajtům trošku dál. A jestli se mám vybrat mezi těma gangstrama a tou správnou stranou, která po nich jde, tak já po něj půjdu od první vteřiny prvního kola. 
Mimo tréninky toho volného času moc není. Když už toho mám jako plnou hlavu, tak si hledám nějaké úniky. Občas si zajdu zastřílet třeba na střelnici, kde se snažím tu hlavu úplně jako vyčistit, odstřihnout se od všeho a musím říct, že to pomáhá. Teraz kávičko a na trénink. Snažil jsem se zbavit veškerých nějakých zlozvyků. Nikomu to nespůj, ale jsem dlouholetý abstinent, takže na druhou stranu jsem si pak něco musel jako najít. Tím že, tím, že nepiju, tak jsem se našel v kafi. Neřekl bych, že jsem závislý, můžu s tím kdykoliv přestat, ale nechci. Mám to pod kontrolou. <laughs> takže kafe je taková životní vášeň. Děkuju, děkuju. Poprvé, co jsem tady dostal kafe teda. <laughs> Kafe mi pomáhá se, se vyklidnit, mám ráno takový jako rituálech, nikam nespěchám, sednu si s tím, vypiju si to a zároveň mě to pak i nabudí do toho, do toho tréninku. Kvalitní výběrovka ti funguje na, na soustředění, samozřejmě na, na chuť do toho tréninku. A co je na kafe super, že funguje i jako regenerace po tréninku. Mám všechno. Hele, díky moc. Patrick Kinsel travels hundreds of kilometers a month between Haradek, Pardubice and Prague, where he is a regular of Gorilla Gym. Letní příprava má svoje pro i proti. Super je to, že vlastně člověk přijde na trénink a už je zahřátej. <laughs> Takže na druhou stranu nesmí podcenit tu rastvičku, protože tam pak dochází k zranění. Teď se věnu na tom, abych se nezbláznil, nezavřel oči, na slepo tam něco neposílal, ale prodechnu to a přesně cílit tam, kam potřebuju. Když nevíde neví, neví plán A, tak má plán B, když nevíde plán B, tak vyjde plán C a takhle až do konce ABC, když je vždycky má něco připravený. Patrik je prostě profesionál, ta forma prostě graduje. Dneska už sám jsem to zažil na tom sparingu, že, že mě dokázal vypnout vlastně po, po břichu, takže myslím, že ta forma u něj je dobrá. Loreo čeká klasická, Paťasova šikana. Alex Lohore je pro mě counterpuncher. Má dobrou přední ruku, dlouhou, tvrdou, umí s ní pracovat a zároveň používá na to, aby dostal ty soupeře pod tlak, vytáhl je na sebe a tam pak zakontroval. To je věc, na kterou si musím dát pozor. Rád bych Alexe ukončil do druhého kola, protože hned potom se musím co nejrychleji vrátit do tréninku. Vypadá to, že v prosinci by mě mohl čekat jeden vytoužený zápas. S Karlem V. Molou. Alex is preparing for Patrick Kinsel in the famous TX Boxing Gym in London. Kinsel won the title. There's nothing like surprising or crazy about him. Alex understands his body a bit better. And I think when, you're, when you meet a fighter that understands their body a bit better, that's more of a dangerous fighter. Um, yeah, I think Kingsaw should be uh, worried. Because you see the way that bag dropped. That wasn't fake. That was real, man. The training is paying off and everything is coming along nicely. Listen, for the viewers that are at home, just expect pain, maximum violence. That's what we're going in. Alex is very fit right now. For the team of the opponent, you make sure you're drilling him hard, man. You've seen our basement. In there is about 100 degrees, boy, I can tell you that. So you make sure he's training hard. Yeah, because we're definitely doing that. We taking more than the belt, we taking everything. Yeah. Two men, a packed arena. One night and most importantly, only one title. Both rivals see this the same way. I am the champion and the crown belongs to me. Do obhájit svůj titul, který jsem vybojoval předtím. 
One of the longest serving and best Czech fighters, Patrick Kinsel, is going to defend his championship belt for the first time. So much I've done for this fight. So I've won and I'm going to go to Mumbai. That's it. That's it. For now, I've been the killer kid and after this victory, I'll officially be the killer king. And they are aware that the winner will inevitably face Carlos Vimola, with whom they both have unfinished business. The hunt for Terminator and the battle for the championship title is going to take place on September 17th in Bruno.